If you don't see uh, an outbreak uh, or any kind of uh, re related spread, if you will, over the next several weeks, is that going to give you confidence or is that, could you think, going to encourage a sense of overconfidence when it comes to the fall? Because I think there's a big question in this country. A lot of people are now questioning, frankly, uh, the experts, the doctors uh, on so many of these issues and saying that maybe we've overdone it. I'm not suggesting that, but I, I think there is a, a real critique in this country about that. And I'm curious about how you think about that from a public health perspective. It's going to be really hard to tease out um, what the implications are of the gatherings on continued spread. I think what we were likely to see before was a slow burn through the summer where cases would sort of level off and just continue. Um, you know, it's going to be hard to discern whether or not there's a spike in cases, because remember, a lot of these gatherings aren't people just from the cities where the gatherings are taking place, but people who are coming into those cities. And so where do you go to measure where the spike would be if you were trying to correlate it? To these gatherings. That's why I think this is going to be extremely difficult. I think the question that we're going to ask going forward, and, you know, it's plenty of people are going to spend a lot of time looking back on what we did to try to break this epidemic, is whether or not we could have targeted the interventions better, because there were clearly cities that were out of control. We had to do what we did in New York and Detroit and Chicago and New Orleans. I don't think there's any question about that. We had raging epidemics in those cities. Um, could you have allowed other parts of the nation to take a little bit of a breather while you focused on the places where there was the epidemic more heavily? We, we did that to some extent. Um, we, we did that by and large across but, the country. But we did have a simultaneous shutdown of schools, for example. Uh, but the problem was we didn't doctor, know where it was spreading. It, we didn't have good enough testing. Right. Right. But, but why wouldn't you open? Why wouldn't the NFL have an audience if 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 if. If, if health if, if healthcare workers like yourself uh, and, and experts are, are suggesting that that these protests are not a problem, why why wouldn't you have an open stadium, for example, outdoors? If well, Andrew, I never masks. suggested the protests aren't. I never suggested the protests aren't a problem. I said that we're going to see change of transmission come out as a result of these gatherings, but it's too early to tell. I can't make a prediction about what the spread's going to be coming out of these gatherings. I don't even know who is in the crowds. Um, so it's, it's really hard to draw a conclusion right now. You know, the bottom line is we are reopening theme parks. Air travels up significantly. Texas is talking about bringing people back into stadiums. So the things you're talking about are happening. We're going to see um, what happens over the course of the summer as you start to reengage in social activity against the backdrop of some persistent spread. I, I, if you're asking me what I think happens, I think what happens is we get low level spread all through the summer. We don't really see cases come down a lot. We don't see them go up a lot. And so all the benefits of what could have been a seasonal effect kind of get washed out by the fact that we're doing more. We're going to accept that. But that sets up risk to the fall. And I've been saying that fairly consistently. If we go into the fall and we're still having 20,000 diagnosed cases a day of COVID, which is probably really 200,000 cases a day because we're only diagnosing one in 10 infections, that sets yeah. up a lot of risk for the fall. You look back at the, the, the studies that have been done, and a handful of cases seeded the country back in January. So we're not going to need a handful of cases coming from Italy and China to seed the country. We're going to have tens of thousands of cases here so we can seed ourselves.